Hi there. Here's a quick look at derived demand and composite demand. Derived demand is where something is demanded not for its own sake, but for what it can produce. The demand for a factor of production is used to produce another good or service. So, for example, the demand for steel is strongly linked to the demand for new cars and the use of steel in construction of new buildings. Wood has a strong derived demand. 60% of wood in the UK, the end use is used in construction, 15% in furniture. We also use wood as pallets for packaging and for fencing, what have you, and other uses as well. But there's a strong derived demand for wood. Labour has a strong derived demand in the labour market. And we'll cover that in a separate, separate topic video. And the demand for transport has a strong derived demand aspect. So, for example, if more people are flying on low-cost airlines, that will lead to an increase in the demand for airline pilots and other staff. Derived demand is really key to use when you're asked in an exam to discuss interrelated markets. Indeed, many exam questions ask you to consider how markets might be connected in this way. Composite demand. Well, a product is said to be in composite demand if it is demanded for several different uses. So a product has more than one use. And an increase in the demand for one product can lead to a supply fall in another product. A really good example is milk, which can be used clearly for milk, but also for cheese, for yogurts, butter, milk chocolate products, and also indeed for fertilizer. Another really good example of composite demand is land. So for example, farmland. If farmers decide to leave the industry, that farmland could be developed in different ways, could be turned into a golf course, could be turned into housing, could be turned into a solar panel farm, who knows. But land has many different uses. Land is in composite demand. And oil is also in composite demand because it can be used in so many different industries, including uh, fuel and power, but also things like plastics. So that's derived demand and composite demand.